Well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dean's Tech Talk. So as you see here, guys, today we're going to do the NZXT H440 case review. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the great things on this case and then some negative sides on this case on what's not so great. There's a few. Trust me, there's a few things that I do not like on this case, but there are a lot more positive things on this case, trust me. Such as this does have a clear side panel right here. And it is plastic, so we're going to first start with this side of the case. Um, so it does have a plastic uh, side panel, but then it's metal for the uh, rest of it. So a plastic uh, clear side panel. And then the one thing that they added on the side panel is that, as you see here, in order to take it off, they have these thumb screws. And these thumb screws do not come off. That's one thing I liked about that they added to it. Um, all you do is screw them off to a certain point and you'll feel it and then at the end just slide it off and then with this side panel they did add this material that is noise dampening uh, so it's like a foam type of deal right here it is like squishy so that is from the noise mostly uh, for the fans and all the moving parts inside so that's really good that they added to this case that you don't see on a lot of cases also um, it's Kind of sturdy, not the most sturdiest one I've ever felt, but you know it's pretty solid. Okay, so let's go on to the inside. Uh, what they added on the inside here. Uh, so as you see here, that the inside you see this logo and DXT. Um, that glows or not glows? You could turn it on with a light because there's a button on the back. I'll show you later, but there's a button on the back. And you you know just push it in. And this starts to glow white. There's no other color changes. Um, I wish you could change colors. That should be one option that uh, they should put in here, but I guess they didn't. Another thing is that they added here is two and a half inch SSD bays. And what you do is you just take out the thumb screw, you slide these out, you get your SSD, you screw them in, and you slide it back in, you put it in, and that's it. And they're very, very low clearance and they don't take up a lot of space. So I really like that. And the thing they added for these SSD uh, bays is in the back here, they like cut out like a hole. Uh, it's almost like a rectangle shape for the cable management. So you don't have to run it around all the way to like the side and then do some cable management. It just goes sh straight back and down. Great and a nice clean look. And as you see here that this covers the power supply. And that's really great. So you don't see the ca uh, the power supply with all its cables fraying out. So that's really good. It makes it have a really good, nice aesthetic look to your whole computer. So that's one thing I really uh, like that they added. Another thing is that you see here, this doesn't come out. So this also covers all the wires in case you want to put wiring here. Uh, so it gives it a really nice, clean look to it. Another thing that they added inside here, they have uh, seven expansion slots right here and then they have these like rubber grommets for water cooling for your hoses and also they also added this hole this hole right here is really really good if you're going to have a graphics card and as you know the graphics card cables may come out from the back but you know most of the nvidia uh, gtx cards are going to come out from the side the cables usually if you have a normal case they will usually go to the bottom into a rubber grommet hole and you'll see wires kind of fraying out. Or you'll go to the side here and to use rubber grommets usually with normal cases. Well, NZXT said, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to add a hole where the uh, power supply cover is. So the wires go straight down from the graphics card, straight down in here, and you hide all your wires. I think NZXT really wanted you to have a really nice, clean looking computer. So I think that's where they're. Uh, you know, heading uh, to those people that really want nice, clean looking computers. And this really does hit the nail on the head here uh, with that. So that's really a nice feature they added. And also, as you see here, they have your rubber grommets, three of them right here for your 24 pin and some other things like your SATA cables and fan headers also as well. So they don't have rubber grommets on the top. Uh, you know to cover those wires which is one downside that i have uh, that 
this case has. I wish they did put it on the top as well, but they did not. So that's one downside that they put in that. Also that they have here is the 140 millimeter, also 120 millimeter fan support on the rear. Uh, it could be an exhaust or intake fan, who knows, whatever you want to do, but 140, 120. And also here they have, a, uh, I forgot to mention that these uh, expansion slots also have holes in it for the air to escape. And also there's more holes in the side here. Um, they're more like slits. So that's really a nice thing that they added. So I think that covers it for this side of the case. Let's actually take a look in the front of this case right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it. Well, first let me take this off, so it'll be a lot easier for me. And how to take this off, I usually put my hand, let me see, put my hand right here in the front, you'll see it. Put my hand on the side, two thumbs here, comes right off. Really easy for the front of the case. Now, as you see here, this case does have filter. And this is really nice. Watch. A little lift here. Magnetic. Magnetically attaches. And also, as you see here, there's this little lip and it catches it. So all you do is slide it in there and it just snaps in. And so this is the filter. You can easily take this out. And as you see here, we have support for 240 millimeter fans and also three um, 120 millimeter fans. So two 140s or three 120 millimeter fan supports. And as you see here, I do have my two uh, Bit Phoenix um, 140 millimeter fans. Um, this case did come with. 320 millimeter fans all the way down. They do come with it. I took them out because I wanted to put these in and I did put it in my uh, old rig behind me. Those fans uh, so I get better air inside and get cooler temperatures. Um, but those are not PWM fans. Those are strictly those are strictly DC fans. Only three pin fans. So that's one downside that they add to this case is that only comes with uh, three pin fans on the front here. And so that's basically it for the front. So let's actually get uh, right on to the top of this case. Okay, for the top of the case, um, all you do to take this top cover off, I find it easier uh, to take this off is to take out the back panel as well. So I'm gonna just take that off. And I'll show you the back panel later. Let me get around to it. But all you do is you put your fingers like almost like here. Same thing on the other side, there's like a little ledge. Put our lip there, and then you just pull up. Let me see. Yeah, it's really hard for me to get the top off. I don't know why. Yeah, I got one side. There we go. Starting to get it. And then you can just kind of do the same thing to the back. And then it should all just pop out. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Like I said, it's hard, and I don't want to break anything on here. So this is the top, as you see here. And again, you still have that noise uh, dampening foam right here. And as you see here on the top panel, you know, we have vents for the air. And this is one downside that I saw on this case, but I really didn't care because I just love the way this case looks and all the features it has. But one downside is the air. It does not have a lot of air holes in order to trans uh, transfer air through. Um, so as you see here, it only comes from the sides, and the back on the top, see? And also, that's about it. So as you see here, this is the panel on the, uh, on the top. And I forgot to mention, and I forgot to mention, the uh, air on the front as well, I'll just turn it, it'll be easier for me. Anyway, so here, so the air that goes through the, uh, the front, still the same thing. See, it's the same thing right here. And so, th and then there's like this little hole in the bottom, probably about this big, about this thick. Still small, so you're not going to get any uh, big airflow coming through this. So that's one downside on this case that I have noticed on this. So back to the top, we're going to go look at um, what's equipped in here. So as you see here, 
we do have two USB 2.0 cables, okay? Two USB 3.0s, and then your audio in, and then your microphone. So that's what you get here. And then you have your power and reset. Then you also have uh, three 120 millimeter fan support and also two 140, so the same as the front. And what did come, and there's no fans that came on this actually. There's actually no fans that came on the top of this. So that's one thing that they didn't do. So that's all for the top. So now I'm gonna show you guys the back of this thing, which is pretty neat. And you see here, there are no CD drive bays here. Or for your reservoir, if you're gonna have an end bay reservoir, if you wanna call it that. There's only uh, 3.5 millimeter, that's 3.5 inch hard drive bays and also SSD base, and you're wondering where are those things? Well, this is one thing I really like about this case, is that here they are, you can take them all out, okay? This is the thing. All you do is, to put them back in, you line up the holes, and there it is, screwed in with these thumb screws. Like I said, these thumb screws do not come out. They literally have this equipped everywhere on this case, except for one spot, which I'll get to later. But all you do is you just plug it in, and you're good. That's all. So in order to get for uh, in order to get some more air going through, I took these out to help with the temperatures of the case, and so you can take them all out. Now you're wondering where am I going to put my hard drive and my SSDs? Well, if you have a hard drive or an SSD, there will be on the bottom here. Let me see if I can take these out to show you guys. Not if you could see it. But on the bottom here, there is a lip, and all you do is you put your hard drive there, you turn the case over onto the bottom, and there are holes, and you just screw it in. That's all you got to do. So there's already a hard drive and SSD bay right here on the bottom of the case that they added. So you can take all these out and increase your airflow going across your motherboard graphics card processor. So that's one thing I really like that they added. So that will really help with your temperatures. Another thing that they added with this is, as you see here, I am uh, I'm managing my cables for the front fans, this little hole. So you could just put the cables right through here. You can't even see the cables until it comes out the hole. And I just feed them right through, which is a really nice feature I like. So you have really nice cable management, even for your front fans. So as you're starting to see here, they have really good cable management for this case. So moving on to here. This is a 10 three pin fan hub. It's not PW, PWM, it's only three pin, which is kind of a downside uh, about that. I wish it was a four pin. I wish, you could, uh, I wish it was a fan controller, um, but it isn't. So that's one thing that's good and then bad. If you have 10 fans, that's great for you. But if they're PWM and you want to control the speed, not so great. So that's one downside about that little feature that they added. So as you see here on the top here, uh, this right here, um, you get power from your power supply using a four pin Molex. And you just plug it in and the cable connects into here and then goes out to the button like I was talking about uh, to turn on your NZ NZXT um, light in the front. Also, another thing I wanted to show you about this back is the back panel. I mean, we're talking about the back here. So the back panel, one of my favorite parts as well, kind of, Actually, look how big that sound dampening material is. Huge one right here. The whole back is covered. So that is great. But as you see here, there are indents of where the cables are. And so that's one thing about this material. There are indentations of where the cables are, so you will have marks on it as well. Also, as you see here, that the cables can be easily stored down here for cable management, and you won't see it in the front. So this is really great for aesthetic looks. So I really like the features that they put on the back of this right here. So that takes it, uh, that takes care of this side of the case. Now let's look at the rear. Okay, so this is the rear side of the case right here. And we're going to look at, as, as we see here, is there's the button finally for the NZXT logo in the front that glows white. Now that's not the only lights that they have here. They also have the lights on the back. And that goes re right down your rear I.O. shield. So you can see what you're doing at night. So you press that, you see everything that's going on at night. Also, there's another light here for the um, 
for these uh, expansion slots for, let's say, your graphics card. If you want to, you know, uh, hook up your DVI cable or your HDMI or display port, and you're like messing around, oh, where does it go? And you're trying to do it by feel, just turn on this button, light will shine down, and then you'll see what you're doing, which is a really nice feature that they added. So that is all for the back here, as you see. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is that these are the 120 millimeter fans that come in the front. Um, I forgot to mention that it does come with an additional 140 millimeter fan in the rear here when you get the case. Okay, now I've said all these great things about this case and a little bit of uh, concerns, like such as the airflow, because it doesn't get enough air to me personally for the system. So, so now some concerns I've had about this case. This case I got on Black Friday last year at Tiger Direct, and it was 90 bucks. and I really wanted to build a new rig, and I was like, this is a perfect time to get some new parts. So I wanted this, and I wanted something different than black. You see a lot of black cases, and I'm tired of black. And then I was like, wait, and I was like, no, there's a lot of white and black cases, and there's a lot of white and black rigs that people have out there. I'm like, I want something different, you know? You don't see an all red case. So I'm like, I want something different right so i came out they have this case here the red one on tiger direct you really can't find it anywhere else you can't even find an nzxt this all uh red case you only find they're all black with a trim that's like orange or you know blue or red or you get their uh flat uh flat out white case with black trim and so that's all you get at nzxt website the tiger direct they have the all red and black trim so one thing I did not like about this case is that this scratches really, really easily. I mean, easy. I try to take a normal cloth, like you take a shower with, a small little cloth to clean it because it was dust. And I was like, okay, this scratches easily. And I did it on the top. And I was like, okay, let's go somewhere else. Um, and I tried clean with Windex. You know, Windex is not horrible. It does... The job uh, nicely done I do it on my old rig all the time so I'm like okay it doesn't harm your computer it's not bleach so it's Windex you clean glass makes things shiny so I'm like okay let's make this shiny right so I take a paper towel and then I try again and then even worse then I take a microfiber cloth still bad and then I tried like a shirt and it's still scratched. Like I was, I was tired of this and it was like made of cotton. So it's not this shirt, but no matter what I use, basically I cannot get this from scratching. This thing scratches way too easily, which is one thing I do not like about this case. I mean, I am very, very anal about the way my cases look. So, I'm like over here almost dying to the point of wanting to buy a new one, but that's ridiculous, so I'm going to have to live with it. And it's mostly scratched up on the top here. Um, it is on the side panel uh, a little bit, and it, you can mostly see on the side panel where the clear plastic is that it's all scratched up as well if you put light to it. And that's the thing why I'm not so crazy about it as much anymore, because I said, oh, you only see it when there's light. Not when it's dark. My room's mostly dark. As you can see, my walls are gray. I have my lights off most of the time. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm good with it. That's all. Another thing about this paint is it chips very easily. I mean, it chips easily. I mean, it's all chipped here. And then, you know, some chipping here. And then there's a nick here. And then there's even like a chipping here. And then there's chips on the back. I mean, it's chipped up everywhere. Not big, the little nicks. But still, the paint shouldn't come off that easily. I mean, I don't. This thing isn't nicked anywhere, and I've had it for almost four years. This is my fourth year. Nothing's nicked on it. This I've had for a couple months, and it's nicked. And I treat this like it's a baby. So it doesn't make sense. So. Those are some downsides that I saw in this case. And see there, there there's some red tape or red paint right there. Got some right there. It doesn't even make sense. See, there's even more. I touched it with my finger, guys, and it came off. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I just saw it was going like this, seeing what that was. Still here. 
I don't understand. But like I said, it chips easily with the red case. Now, I don't know about the all black with like red trim or the orange trim, you know, with the special colors edition, you know. I don't know, because it looks like on the pictures that it's a matte black. And I don't know, because I haven't seen up close, uh, maybe a glossy look like this red case here, because this is a glossy look. It's not matte. The only thing that's a matte finish is the black trim. So I don't know about those all black ones and then with the trim being a different color. I don't really know about that because I haven't seen it up close. But I'm telling you what, if you get this red one and it's glossy, you're going to want to expect some scratching and some paint coming off easily. So, warn you, be careful. And this came out roughly $90 at the time at Black Friday. Now it's like $120 or $130. And it's at Tiger Direct. Now we'll put a link down in the description below on it so, so you guys can go check it out in case you guys want to get one yourselves. Besides all the stuff I said about that, this is a really nice case. It looks great. The aesthetics on it are awesome. Cable management is awesome. Everything about it is awesome. Just the scratching and the nicks. So if I had to rate this, 1 out of 10, I would give this a nice solid 8. A 9 would be if this case did not scratch and nick easily. A 10 would be perfect, so you're not going to really see a case like that. So, i give this a nice 8. I really like it. And this is a mid-sized tower case. So, it packs a lot for its size. And it does support ATX motherboards, mini ATX and ITX motherboards, or micro ITX motherboards, as well into this case. So put down in the comments what you guys like about this case yourself and what you guys did not like about this case. Well that wraps it up for this video guys. Please subscribe down below. Please hit that button. And also like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. If you're in the middle, comment down below. If you have any tips, please put it in the comments. Also go check out and go subscribe at Jay's Two Cents, Linus Tech Tips, and also Paul's Hardware. And for some great cell phone reviews, look at SuperSaf TV. He is really, really good at cell phone reviews. So that ends up, guys, for this video. See you guys next time. Thank you.